Hi, Hi everybody. Hey. Welcome back to our Makeupless Mondays. Today we're coming at you from the couch. <laughs> Smell it. Up a yeah, shaking it up a little bit. Hello. But today we are <laughs> asking the question, how far is too far? This is a super mm -hmm. popular question um, among a lot of different age groups even. And in the upcoming weeks we're actually going to be talking about love. What is genuine, authentic mm -hmm. love, especially as God has called us mm -hmm. to live love. Um, but first of all, how far is too far? Especially when, you, when, when you're when you're dating somebody, how far is too far? That's that's a great question. Tell us about it, right? Uh, <laughs> well, so we get this question a lot when we speak in high schools, but it's also a really popular question for a lot of different age groups, and it's something we talk about also. And if we're asking that question, we're actually asking the wrong question because we're kind of saying to that person. And, and to ourselves, you know, how far can I bring you up to sin without technically going over that line? Mm -hmm. And if we're asking that, mm -hmm. we're asking the wrong thing. We should be asking, how far can I go to love you well? Mm -hmm. How far can I go to speak a truth with my body, with my words, to what, what I'm saying and what I'm doing to actually line up? Because if we really love someone, we're not going to be having sex with them outside of marriage. You know, we're our, like we said, like our body speaks the truth. Mm -hmm. And when we give ourselves in, in that act, we're saying with our body and with our hearts and with our souls, I give myself to you forever and I give all of me. Well, if you're not married, you're making a commitment a that it, it, it's a lie. And so you want to speak in very authentically with your body, with your words, and to be really saying, how far can I go to love you? Yeah. Um, again, how far is too far? Everybody wants to know specifics. Like they <laughs> want the list. But if we're thinking about it, like if we're gonna sit out here and make a list so that we know, okay, we can get to here, but then we shouldn't cross there. Then we're already in that mindset of the wrong mentality. Yeah, let's get let me see how far I can push this person to the cliff without them falling over. Um, but to give you some specifics <laughs> on that note. Um, on that note Obviously, um, premarital sex is huge. Um, we believe saving that for marriage, like Maria said, our bodies speak a language. And so when we have sex before marriage, we're saying with our whole body and soul, I give myself completely to you. Completely to you. But you're not married. There's no commitment whatsoever there. So it, there's a lie. Uh, the, our, body, yeah, our bodies are speaking a lie. Um, but something else that we've talked about is to <laughs> Maybe it kind of sound funny, but don't touch what you don't have, <laughs> slash your rear end, too. <laughs> um, we all have just, this. Yeah, we all have this. But just like keep it in specifics. Um, but something else, though, for those of you who may feel like you have gone too far, or maybe you're in a relationship right now that you feel like, or that you're now you're like thinking, oh, this is way too far. Do not worry, just come back. Like it is so okay because you are a gift no matter what, no matter who has that part of you, you're still a gift and that will never be taken from you. So if you are in a relationship or you think, well, in the past I have gone too far, don't stay there. You can come on back. Mm -hmm. And and again, like we don't know, we don't have all the answers. Yeah, <laughs> we're still we're 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 navigating with you also. <laughs> so um, yeah, just to keep that in mind. Yeah, and this is also something that I think we really have to communicate about. I mean, I, we, we're talking about this with each other, but with your friends, you know, um, talk about it with, with you know, people that you trust, a priest, but also especially talk about it with the person that you're dating. Mm -hmm. It's so important to communicate about this and say, you know, how, and even ask them, how can I really, really love you? How can I bring you closer to Christ? You know, what what is really tempting for you? What is too much for you? Um, you know, outside of the realm of what's already been mentioned, you know, we get kind of into that grayer area of, well, how much kissing or how much snuggling or how much, you know, all these things that it's a little bit not, not as clear. But to really talk to that person and just say, you know, I, I, I want to love you well. I want to bring you closer to Jesus. I, I want to, you know, sacrifice for you. Um, you know, and just to be honest, if something's too much for you too, if there's ever something that makes you uncomfortable, to also communicate that. So communication is so important and helps us to grow in a relationship as well. So we're going to keep talking about these. Yeah, sorry, one, one yeah. more factor. Attraction is good. Don't, yeah. We are not yeah. trying to say that it physical is attraction <laughs> is not good because we kind of need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it so is. just just to clarify, Thank attraction God for that when you is have it. <laughs> good. So that's why it's important to talk about these things because attraction is good. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just wanted to do that. Yeah. <laughs> 
So thank you so much for joining us. Um, stick with us these next couple weeks because we're going to be talking more about these topics. Dive and in deep. <laughs> yes, and come and find us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Bia's Own and Twitter at Bia's Own Music. And thanks so much. We hope you all have an awesome week and we'll see Bye you next off. week. Bye. Bye. Guys. <laughs>